What's up guys, it's your boy Trooper, back at it again with some more vids, and in today's Who Did It Better, we'll be pitting the original Battlefront 2 uh, story against EA's Battlefront 2 story. So for this one, we'll be breaking down um, evaluations in three parts. The first part being the story and the character development, the second, the soundtrack, and lastly, the actual gameplay. Let's go! So for story, both games did a pretty good job in the most part in making you feel like you're in the Star Wars universe and both of them dabbled in the so called good side and bad side arcs. So starting with the original Battlefront 2, we had a unique story focusing on the 501st with journal entries on their most famous battles narrated by a voice actor I wish I sounded like. The thing I liked most about the story was that you were able to play on the good side initially as clones during the Clone Wars and you slowly worked your way up to Order 66 and then your role in the Empire and its formation. It felt good actually being able to play on the Empire side and on top of that you were able to play in the Jedi Temple, sacking in being a beast with Anakin against the young Padawans, so that deserves points on its own. For character development, the story didn't focus on just one soldier per se, depending on your usage um, of the word clone, but you were able to listen to different clone trooper stories as the story and battles progressed and their feelings on certain events through the journal cutscenes that felt very warlike and real. Now jumping to EA's Battlefront 2, we get sort of the opposite trajectory on the story path with us starting out on the bad side and then switching over to the good side. EA's Battlefront 2 story focuses on one character primarily, Aiden Versio, and her role as the commander of Inferno Squad during the destruction of the Death Star and later events forming the New Republic. Even though the story was short, the story was well made for the most part in terms of cinematics and uh, being canon. During the initial missions, you really feel for Aiden Versio and being a bad A Empire trooper and even though this switches during later missions to being an okay New Republic soldier, playing as some of the other side characters like Luke and Kylo made the story still feel fun. In character development, Iden Versio's character change did throw me off, and not in a necessarily good way, but the character did develop, and with the free DLC story missions, I'm interested in seeing how much her character and others will develop with the formation of the First Order. Also, we get to see other character development for some of the movie characters and how they lived after the events of the destruction of the second Death Star. That was fun to play through and is also canon. Now let's jump to the soundtrack department. The original Battlefront 2 story soundtrack was okay with your standard Star Wars music during the cinematics and gameplay. The sounds during the actual story missions were okay too, especially for the time, but listening to them now, you can definitely tell they're outdated and not movie quality, especially for the laser fire. EA's Battlefront 2 uh, story soundtrack is top notch with atmosphere and cinematic music, feeling like you're watching a real Star Wars movie. On top of that, the actual gameplay sounds from the blasters and ships, for example, sound movie quality like, it easily engrosses you into the action. And lastly, the gameplay. Star Wars Battlefront 2 gameplay was fun back in the day and you had a good amount of things to do during each mission from collecting objectives, holding down points, to assassinating certain targets. You could also play as some of the heroes too and wreak havoc during missions which also helped in changing up the pace of just shooting up everyone with your blasters. On EA's Battlefront 2 side, the gameplay was similar in terms of missions having objectives to complete and a lot of fodder to shoot at as well as being able to play as heroes but diverged in terms of some of the elements and actual fresh functionality. 
EA's Battlefront 2 mission on Jakku was a breath of fresh air. Being able to go from ship combat to ground combat all throughout different zones as well as feeling like you're in an actual war. Same with a lot of the other missions with the gameplay actually fitting directly in line with the story. On top of that, the heroes, villains you could play as in the story had their own individual story missions to help distinguish them and made them more personable. So who did it better? Are you team original or team EA? I for one saw fun things in both campaigns and even though they were made years apart, each had their own flair to distinguish them. But anyways, let me know in the comments section what parts you liked or disliked from both games and which one was your favorite. Cheers.